Hey, Brick fans, welcome back to the Brick Bakery, where all our jokes I have baked, and most of our bricks are medium rare. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this slightly sabotaged, uh, sabotaged uh, little live stream here. The thing is, things are not as they should be. I, um, I had a bit of technical difficulties, actually. I was uh, setting up, as I usually do, uh, about an hour before I start live streaming, I start setting everything up, getting the computer out, getting the camera ready, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I discovered that um, the computer said, uh, I need an update. And I thought, well, it's about an hour still. It'll be fine. I can, I can make, I can make, it, 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 it'll be fine. And it started updating. Little did I know that this computer was trying to update to Windows 10, which of course means that it is still updating an hour later. And from where I'm sitting, I can see that it's only about 20% done. So I can't do the full two camera stream as I usually do on these Fridays because the computer is currently updating to Windows 10 for some reason. So uh, yeah, that's good. Probably means that I'll have to reinstall a lot of programs on that computer as well, which is just great. But um, all that aside, I'm here. This is Lego. This is a set I've been looking forward to building for a long time now. People who remember that I got this have been following this channel for quite a while, I must say, because I bought two of these way back when, and the first thing I did actually was part one of it out, one of them out, and uh, and I left. Uh, this one in the closet and it's just been standing there waiting for me to get down through the pile of sets and now we're here this this is uh, this is the set we're building today and I think I'll just be building the main build I have actually been looking through my 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 list of live streams and it doesn't seem that I've built this one before I have thought I had but um, I haven't as far as I can see. So a lot of people have already showed up. I see Cass from Blockade UK. I see Robin Hall, Rogue Transformations, G Bricks, RDF Lego, Ingrid Wynn, G Bricks, and Lego Lemania Keep on Bricking is here as well. Hello, 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 my friends. Good to see you all. And because of all this chaos, of course, of course, I have forgotten my knife to open up the box here uh so yeah this is uh this is what i've been looking forward to i believe that um is he called mini brick world is that the name of his channel he actually used this one as sort of his um no that's not this one sorry sorry that's just not true i was trying to tell a lie galagay hello 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 Legolamaniac says, think I have this one in my backlog, not just gotten around to build it yet. Going to take a while to build all three versions. That's true. It is a creator set and there are three variations. There's this little taller one and this uh, little smaller one, much like the poolside thing that was also a creator set not too long ago. But I'm going to go for the main build here. I see that the Auto focus on this camera is a little bit different than what I could want, and it's also a little more laggy. I'm using the phone to stream today, which is why the picture might be doing stuff that I don't want it to. I hope that auto focusing thing will stop at some point, but who knows? We'll just have to see. Here we go. And. Here we go, there's more stuff, a lot of stuff, no more stuff in here. Uh, I remember that build, I think. Nice sets I've had. I've not had this one either. Uh, good morning from Australia, says Michael Zayfall. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six six bags, but four, five, and six are rather small. One, two, and three are rather big. I think I'm gonna go through half of these bags today um, because I won't have time to do it all, but we'll see how far we get. I'll make another live stream next Friday, as far as I can gather. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Here we go, here we go with 
all the streaming thing. Hey, what's up, teacher? Long time no see. I hope you are doing great, my friend, and that your uh, little water problem has been fixed uh, since we heard from you last time. Uh, is that the one with the light brick? Yes, there is a light brick in this one somewhere. I'll be sure to give you a illustration once we get to it. There we go. Voila. And there's a smaller bag in here as well. Voila. There we go. Ooh, and the very rare, where the very rare uh, brick separator right here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I see that, of course, we need to put the small minifigures together first. It is the standard way to do it. Uh, so how is everybody doing today? Anybody doing great? Anybody doing not great? Please let us know. It will be great to hear from you. It's always great to hear from you folks because it's always nice to have you with me here on my live streams. Cozy, 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 cozy. Some nice talks going on in the chat always. I really enjoy that. And I really enjoy that you folks are so good at coming here. It really shows me that you enjoy this. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, oops. The video was... Uh, no, there's something... Oops, Jesus, wrong pants. Ah, get it off. Yo, 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 says Renny the Space Guy. Welcome to my live stream. Renny, always good to see you, and Crossley's Toy Party. Welcome, welcome, welcome as well. Good to see both of you. Now, a lot of people have arrived since I started, which is great, but I'll just let you folks know what's going on. Why is the stream a little different than it usually is? Well, just before, I usually start my stream evenings by setting up stuff about an hour before I go on. And, um, uh, I did that today as well, and uh, the computer suddenly said, uh, I need an update. And I thought, oh, well, yes, you can update. That's about an hour or two till start, so it'll probably be fine. It'll probably be fine. But little did I know that um, it wanted to update to Windows 10. Apparently, this computer hadn't done that yet. I did think it had done so, but it hadn't. So it, the, the computer I usually use to make my live streams um, uh, is currently standing on a table over there, uh, uh, or it's a, it's a small cabinet actually, but it's over there anyway. Um, uh, and it is currently updating, so I can't use it for streaming. And it is, it's been standing like that for at least 45 minutes at this point, and it's at 21% of the update. So. I, when I saw that the time was nearing, that it, when I it was uh, 9.40 something, I, I thought, well, I have to do something else. I have to have a backup because this, this is not going to be great. Uh, I'm not going to make it time-wise with that update. So I put up my phone right here. This is another phone that I have seen from before. And um, it seems to have some kind of autofocus thing going on. I, I, I shall try to counter it by not going too close to the camera all the time. But I don't think I can... Um, I can't really do anything because the camera is quite autonomous, it seems, in this. Hello, Brick Borough! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Uh, -da 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 -da. Hi, Brick Bakery says Isaiah... Coulange, 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 uh, Rup, I like the Harry Potter one too, says Brickborough. Yes, it's true, there is a Lego Harry Potter advent calendar right now, which is, as I believe, the first time that, I, that has actually been there, which is um, quite impressive uh, that it hasn't been there yet, but um, I imagine it's probably a question of uh, rights and copyrights and all that good stuff for stuff like that. I believe there's a, was there a Funko Pup uh, Harry Potter advent calendar last year? I think there was actually. 
honestly, Brick Bakery, the autofocus hurting is hunting is not that bad. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. Um, I we will survive today. I hope uh, next time will be better. I promise. Uh, someday I'm gonna get back my uh, my uh, my other computer, and things will be even better. So so that's good. That computer is actually still in repair, uh, and it's been so for at least a month and a half to two months. Seems like the company that makes the spare parts uh, has decided that it's gonna make spare parts. Uh, for computers that it's going to sell this Christmas rather than for computers that need repair. So uh, the, the guy who's repairing it for me says, well, it, there's not, probably not going to be any spare parts before after New Year's. So it's just staying around in a shop somewhere, uh, being ready to be repaired, but it's not being repaired right now. So, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Seems like it's every time I move my hand in front of the camera, it, it tries to autofocus. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> so, we could, of course, dive right into the news as we usually do here on my live streams. And uh, I don't know if you folks have noticed, but there was a small piece of news that first started out as uh what has been called an accidental uh quote unquote leak by i believe it was the french lego uh facebook site uh, which since turned into a full-on release of pictures of the new 2020 modular so the 2020 modular creator expert modular building is called uh 10260 i'm pretty sure 270 i'm pretty sure and it is of course a bookshop as most of you probably have um uh, have already seen but what do you guys think about it oh i see saya coulange saying goodbye so goodbye to you my friend and JJ May says, I have piano recital tonight, Bakery, but I am too so tired. I need some sleep before I go. That is good. Have a nap. It's always good if you have to perform. But what do people think about the new bookshop? Now, I actually, I am 95% sure that we have actually discussed the possibility of a bookshop uh, here on the Brick Bakery uh previously on some of my live streams and and how i'd like to see a bookshop as a modular building um and it seems that i have gotten my wish fulfilled loved it nice color says galagade totally love the new birch bookshop modular says road transformation rainy space guy the fact that the book is called moby brick is great I love the look of the new modular, lovely colors, and great building techniques. Uh, my internet is not able to keep up with the stream. Later, gang. Yeah, see you later, RTF Lego. I hope to see you soon. Uh, so it seems that there's a generally positive vibe concerning the new bookshop. I am also positive. I think it looks great. Uh, I've already heard some people say that it is it is uh, kind of uh, a little on the, the the underwhelming side on the interior part. I don't know. I also heard some people talk about that, um, or I've read some people write about that um, uh, uh, the modulars are getting smaller. But that it doesn't really make any sense to me because if I'm not mistaken, this one is actually a little bigger than the diner and just slightly, slightly smaller than the corner garage. JJ Demay does not like it. I wish there were more books other than that. It's good. All right, that's good. Yeah. Okay, I get it now. The new modular is great, says Michael's Michael A Michael's A fall. I like it, says the Brick Burrow. Watch up, teacher. Looking much forward to the new modular. Hope to be able to buy it by February. Yeah, I hope for a sale around February as well. Maybe a, a, a January sale here in Denmark would help us out. I'm hoping to find it at a, at, at a decent price. Um, not that it, it's not it's not 
more expensive than the other uh, modulars as far as I know, but um, it's always good to get it at, at a decent price. Right now, uh, the Danish toy shop called BR Toys, BR Life, right? it's actually having a sale just like uh, the Danish uh, supermarket um, Bilka had last weekend where they have 30% off on everything and they also sell the modular buildings. So for once we can actually get the modular buildings at less than 1000 Danish. Uh, the diner and the uh, corner garage is all the way down to 800 Danish corner. Unfortunately they don't ship abroad but um, it is uh, it's a good price. It's a really really good price 800 danish for a modular 840 i think uh, for the most expensive one of them uh, uh, oh uh, gal gate says it reminded me of the black books series in the uk yes black books is a wonderful tv series i've watched it several times i actually have it on dvd uh, those of you who remember my original or my my episode zero of my city updates will remember that i recommended the black books uh tv series in that one as well i've seen it several times and i do like it and um yeah i think bernard black is one of the great reasons why i love bookshops so much as i do uh yeah so so yeah it is true, it does It does have some of the same vibe. I do believe that uh, Bernard's bookshop is sort of downstairs in the basement, kind of like. But uh, yeah. Uh, what your teacher asks, is that in all BR shops? Uh, uh, yes, it's both online and all the shops have the 30%, as far as I know. I'm not sure if, if, if they have all the modulars in all the BR shops. You'll probably have to go online, but if you uh, order for more than 500 Danish, uh, you'll get free postage, if I'm not uh, mistaken, uh, online. So maybe you, if you go online, you can get the stuff that you need. The stuff that you need. Uh, I like the idea of setting it in autumn and the details such as the bird nest, scarf on the child and bright light orange or yellow leaves. Yeah, that's true. I like I like that they are sort of uh, taking some decisions on seasons as well. This is a little odd. What am I doing wrong? Ah, now I know what I'm doing wrong. It's this one. Uh, there was a fight at my school today. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. I hope nobody was hurt too bad. Mm. Uh, no, but anyway, the uh, bookshop. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see it in in real life uh, at uh, some point. Uh, it's always a little different to seeing them in, in real life than seeing them uh, in pictures and such. Um, and I think uh, maybe people's minds will change a bit once they see it uh, live, so to speak. Um, not that they'll change change uh, negatively necessarily. It's not what I'm saying. I say uh, just say that people's minds about it may change when they see it in real life. It usually does for me at least, um, which is fine. I think. Uh, hey buddy, great set you're building there. I have two in my city. Fun set. I was actually talking about you, Mini Brick World, uh, just when I started building this because I, I I thought you used this one for your minifig, your your own sick fig as his residence. But I I remember that was a uh, that's an older creator set that you've used for that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, great idea though. Great idea to uh, use one of these creator sets as a uh, oops, as an uh, as a house for your uh, mini fig or your sick fig. Sick figs are great. Sick 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 figs are fun. I do love that. Ba -ba 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 -da. I have one, but I have not built it yet. Yes, it is. Uh, it is the curse of every A4 or every T4 or every fan of Lego. I think. Uh, we often end up with a big, big, big backlog. 
How are we all doing today? Ask Solo Brick Builder. Welcome, Solo. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. So, yeah, how are we all doing? Are we doing good? Mm -hmm. So, back to you. Right, here we go. Uh, no, everyone was fine. It happened right next to me, and they were fighting over a boy. It reminds me of cats, says JJ to me. <laughs> okay, uh, sounds. Um, I'm not all that big on violence, but um, if they want to fight, let them just just go walk the other way. It'll uh, they can sort it out themselves, I think. The best advice I ever got on getting into a fight was if you ever have the sense that you're getting into a fight, just run away. And uh, I think that's the most sensible thing I heard about fighting ever. So uh, I'll pass that on. You can use it if you want to. If you ever sense that you're getting into a fight, just run away. Run away! I'm missing a brick, and it doesn't really make any really make any sense. Um, or is that because I am supposed to pour everything out to do this? I think it is. Yes, it is. All right. We'll do that, no problem. <clears throat> uh, it's always hard, hard to get, give everyone a house too many figs and not enough residential. Yes, that's true. I'm actually, I'm, I'm building a sort of an apartment block right now uh, with small apartments, so I have a so I have a resume for all my sick fix. It'll uh, it'll be good when it's done, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Actually, um, whoop! So here we go. This is um, this is the way we did it in the old days. This is how this is how things was when I was a kid. You had to pile everything out and just start building. From one end to the other, and uh, there was no numbers other than the numbers on your uh, instructions. And everything took a great while longer, and I imagine this will take a while longer now as well uh, when I've done this. But that's fine for me. I uh, enjoy building, so uh, taking my time doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, this one... So, remember folks, if you want to tell me something, don't be afraid to use the at function. I have a, a, it's easier for me to keep up with the chat if you want to say something to me and you use the at function because it's just, it's just plain more visible. That's what it is. I can more easily see what you, uh, if you want to say something to me. I will try to keep up though. Uh, and I usually, I usually manage okay, but there are parts of the conversation that I do miss. So please forgive me if there's something I don't answer right away. Don't be afraid to ask again or post a comment again. That's all right. And um, nobody will be banned or turned out on that for that. So uh, now I'm looking for a small one, but there we go. There's something. <laughs> Oh yes, there we go. And um, there we go. Uh, will be great. And Gallagate says, "Yes, stay away from fights. You never know what they got on them. So run like the gingerbread man." Agreed. And, and uh, even if you know what they got on them, you don't know how the fight will turn out. Somebody might slip and fall very unluckily, and then, you know, you'll spend the rest of your days in a wheelchair or something like that. You just run away if there's something 
uh, like that going on. Just run away. Don't be afraid to run away. Uh, better to uh, to live a long life, I'd say. So that was uh, that was <laughs> that was uh, that was the advice minute of uh, Brick Bakery, giving advice on how to um, manage a fight, run away, run away like the wind, or the gingerbread man. Both are good. I need a frying pan. There should be a frying pan. There's a frying pan right here. How about we use that one? Bloop. And now I need what I believe to be a faucet. So yeah, Brick Bakery, I opened up a sealed 1970s set recently and the parts weren't even in plastic bags. No, that's true. Uh, there was a uh, there was there was a period of time before plastic bags, you know, where uh, where everything was just put in more or less loose in the uh, oh, it's a small kitchen thing. It's a small kitchen thing with a sink and um, and a frying pan. That's very nice. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Lego wasn't always uh, so easy. It's something they really really rammed up the last 10 years or so uh, the whole how easy it is to figure out what to do um in um, in uh, normally people call the old manuals spot difference manuals which um which is because you don't really uh, it, it's very few steps usually and you just have to sort of keep a keen eye out on what's going on uh, and you can't necessarily see everything uh, so yeah it's usually very hard uh, in the sense that you often make mistakes and have to go back some steps I find myself doing it all the time when I'm building stuff for my videos <clears throat> so yeah uh, there we go and another one of these right here and one and two, I think this is going to be a small table for the kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen, the kitchen. Uh, it's only a V sound when it's a sound letter in front. A, E, so on, as far as I know. Somebody can correct me if I am wrong. Of course, it's pretty good to get corrected. Um, but... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I remember those times with no plastic bags or oh, the numbers says soda brick builder yeah uh, and uh, mini brick world says you have guts to open that yeah opening a, a set that's more than 40 50 70 70 80 90 it's almost 50 years old that's um that's 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 a good move i think that's that's uh, that's daring <laughs> um in the sense that um i think it would have uh, brought you some manners if you had sold it but of course it's toys it's meant to be built so uh why keep it packed and uh, some of them even some of the older sets aren't necessarily valuable just because they're old um it also has to be wanted. That's the second part of um, of pricing, isn't it? You know, want. Does anybody want it? No matter how old it is, if nobody wants it, it it's not necessarily uh, uh, valuable in that sense. So opening it up might be the right choice. Uh, this, the set did only have around 50 parts, though. All right, so there's a smaller set. Uh, from where you're, which, which, set, which set was it? Uh, do we have a number? Do we have a number? Uh, for me, no matter how old the set is, I will open it and build it, says Solo Brick Builder. And it seems Ingrid Wynn agrees. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I, there's, there's a part of me that cries a bit when, when, when people open up a set that's, uh, that's old. Um, but it doesn't. It, 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 sort of logically I'm not sure it makes any sense um, because you know uh, this ooh, um, this this is a great 
actually a great uh, topic uh, for debate because what makes something collectible? When is something worth collecting? And 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 should we, you know, because um, I believe I, I saw an episode of Red Letter Media where Mike he said, well, basically, if you want, you can you can um, you can uh, you can collect everything that's ever produced if you want to, you know, uh, everything that's ever been made, even you know, plastic bags different shades and different shapes of plastic bags could be something for collecting. Um, and in an economical sense, if there's people enough collecting it, uh, and um, a certain plastic bag uh, gets to a certain level of rarity and a certain level of uh, want, then it might be worth a lot of money to collectors. But then again, a plastic bag in and of itself doesn't feel really hold any value. So why is it collectible? I mean, um, a hammer uh, has a value as a tool. It can be used for something. And, and whereas, and of course, a plastic bag has the function of being able to carry stuff. But other than that, you know, uh, it's not much value to it. Um, and the same thing goes for Lego sets. Uh, you, if, if you sort of ponder the, 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 the principal value of it, what can it actually do besides being a toy? You know, there isn't too much um, in it, actually. So considering like that, I don't have any problem opening up an old Lego set. But I do know collectors who would be gasping, you know, <laughs> if they saw or heard about that, that's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, it was 900, 900, no, 696 bus stop from 1976. I did a video about it on my channel. Oh, I didn't catch that. I'll have to check that one out. Sounds interesting. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, good evening from the windy London, says London Bridge Bricks. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 London Bridge Bricks. Good, good, good. Great to see you, my friend. Hope you are doing great on this Friday evening and that you're going to have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I am going to have a great weekend. Um, I have half a plan uh, that Santa Claus might be going to the BR toy store uh, to get uh, presents for the people he knows in my household <clears throat> um, because they are fairly cheap right now uh, and it would be sad to miss out on that but um, I wouldn't be breaking any kind of decision I made on uh, whether or not to buy um, Lego sets the rest of the year because it would be Santa Claus buying it for someone else. And I don't know who Santa Claus is, but he's probably here or there or whatever. So yeah, maybe that's part of my plan. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Are you going to do some thrifting this weekend, Brick Bakery? Asks Cass. Well, there is a chance that I will be doing that as well. Um. Whenever I'm out and about, there's always uh, there's usually always a thrift store not too far from where I am. So uh, going to a thrift store is uh, it's always an interesting thing, and I like to do that. Oh, I like this garage here. This is very nice. Very nice door that can open and close. So that's pretty cool. Uh, not breaking the embargo because Santa will buy it. Yes, exactly, Cass. You have you have figured it out. Thank you. Thank you for supporting that. I think it's a great move on your behalf to actually support that. I think um, it's, um, yeah, no embargo can be kept for Santa Claus. So this is the house where we are now. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, Yeah, so, um, 
One thing about the release of the new modular uh, building, or at least the picture of it, the pictures of it, um, is that uh, seemingly uh, Lego has once again broken their own embargo, you know, released their uh, pictures too early or before they wanted to at least. And I wonder, I've really been wondering, uh, as, as far as I know, this is this is the first time that it's happened that that um, the, the the thing got out before it, were actually, it was actually meant to get out. But um, it wasn't very long before this time around. Uh, <clears throat> but I have been wondering um, if that's actually part of their sort of marketing strategy, this sort of uh, botched release, because it probably creates a little more hype around the whole release that, ooh, we found the pictures before, uh, they were actually available because somebody at Lego messed up something, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's a, a, a deliberate strategy or if it's just, if it is actually just uh, uh, unlucky, you know, something uh, that shouldn't have been done in that way and then was done in that way, not but not on purpose. So I don't know. I don't know if, if it is a marketing strategy, it, it is, it is, it is kind of, kind of well thought out, I think. Uh, because um, because it does create the hype. I mean, uh, I don't think I've seen Twitter light up that fast before, or the so so social media in general light up that fast before, uh, with all the pictures, and, and very soon after that, um, the blah, 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 the, the accidental release, there was uh, a full series of pictures on different sites out there in the world. <clears throat> I'm going down to the Lego store tomorrow for some promos. Sounds like a great idea. Uh, Solar Brick Builder, hope you'll have a good time. So many good sales and promotions lately and great new sets coming, says Ingrid Wynn. Uh, Blockade UK says, yeah, that did occur to me, Brick Bakery. Didn't it happen with something else just before another Comic Con? I think you may be right. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you may be right. Uh, London Bridge Bricks, Brick Bakery, what sets are you talking about? Did something get leaked? Uh, <laughs> no, not leaked in that sense. The new uh, modular for uh, 2020 has been revealed, but it's, um, officially the, uh, the, the, the reveal was botched in the sense that um, at the French Facebook, uh, Lego Facebook site, accidentally released the pictures of the new modular um i think two or three hours before uh it would it was actually meant to go up so leaked in that sense but not leaked in the traditional sense um so yeah so that's 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 what happened the um the new lego uh, creator expert modular is a bookshop if you haven't seen so yeah, that's uh, that's what we are talking about, London Rich Bricks. That is what we have been uh, <laughs> have been talking about. And uh, Cass says um, LBB has been under a rock all day. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, mm, mm, uh, 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 Rich Briggs says, I had heard a little about it, but not read too much. Busy finishing the LBB news. Ah. Yeah. If you folks in the chat haven't already checked out each other's channels, you should be sure to do so. Uh, because there's a lot of great stuff out there. There is a lot of creative people in the chat right now who does great stuff. And it's really worth checking out each other's channels so um, while you watch this live stream feel free to uh, sort of hit control and your mouse clicking on the different pictures and uh, go to people's channels and subscribe and such 
even comment if you like, but don't, don't click away from this live stream. This live stream is way too interesting for you to leave it. You don't know what will happen next. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe suddenly the, the, the earth will start rumbling or, or something interesting will happen. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't leave as such. Just check out quickly what goes on on other channels and then come straight back. Oh, and if you uh, if you haven't already, you can of course like this live stream. At least uh, in December, you can still do that on my channel. Um, and if you do, it, I would be very much thankful because it really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, helping out my channel is something I like you doing. You all do. You all helping out a lot just by being here watching the stream, of course. But if you want to help out a little more. You can hit that like button if you want to. Thank you very much, peeps. You are great. Great, great, great. Great, great, great. Great, 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 great. great. Uh, so Ingrid is leaving. Can you have a good night, Ingrid? It was great of you to come out. It's always great to have you with us. Very cozy indeed. Hope to see you next time and hope that you'll have a wonderful weekend. Stay building. Yeah, so any other news out there uh, this week? And I think everything has sort of been overshadowed by the release of this... Uh, by the release of the new modular. Uh, in fact, I think the new modular will always outshine any other LEGO news, which is why there wasn't maybe too many LEGO news this week. Come to think of it, was there? No, I think maybe um, LEGO knows that it'll take up the surface of every LEGO news media, 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 media for, for quite, quite a while. Uh, so no reason to try to release other news when the modular is out there. <laughs> and let's not forget to visit your website, Rogue Trans, says Rogue Transformations. Just thank you very much, Rogue. Um, it's true, I do have a website. It's www.brickbakery.fun. And uh, I do all kinds of stuff there. Um, I, of course... Sorry, I need to get this one out. I release all my videos there, of course. Here you've got the light brick. This is the light brick. I've tried to use these light bricks um, as lighting for houses, but it's simply not, uh, there's not enough juice in it. It's too weak as a, um, as a, uh, as a light for houses, but uh, it is very funny. Yeah, I do, um, I do post stuff on the website, uh, small analysis, uh, some Lego news once in a while. There's also a top six list coming up next week. Uh, of course, there's a short piece very soon on the new Lego modular as well. And um, I also run a series that I call Over Analyzing uh, a Set, which uh, I enjoy immensely. I think it's fun to do those. Um, they are a bit out there, but uh, I think I think it's fun to do, and it seems that people are usually usually in agreement um, when they read them. Uh, so you can check out that on my website. That's www.brickbakery.fun. Remember, it's dot fun at the end, uh, which is a little a little different than what you might be used to. I figured out you could actually do that. It seems that there's somebody who has actually already taken the .com. Brickbakery.com has been taken by somebody. I don't know for what and I don't know by whom. Uh, it's German. I can say that much. Uh, but there's not much on the site. It's very hard to figure out what it actually is. And if it is actually anything or if just somebody bought the, uh, the URL. But um, I'm not about to get into that any more than just saying well somebody else used it i'll i'll pick another because there were plenty plenty uh so brickbakery.fun that's where you can go and check out my website 
Uh, I called. Uh, I caught a kid that threw a sealed wooden set, but that was a long time ago. What you caught a kid, so so you found someone who was throwing out a sealed wooden set and 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 an original wooden uh, Lego set, uh, and he was throwing it out. Hmm. I believe that the person didn't know precisely what he had, uh, because. Those wooden sets are probably worth something. What, what's going on here? Oh, this is going on here. I get it now. There we go. There we go. Did it do? Pew, pew. Uh, and. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, putting those. I find it marginally harder to speak when I have to look more for the bricks than I usually do, uh, which is of course a little annoying, uh, but I hope you guys will survive this rather untraditional live stream. Both the camera is, uh, is weird and um, my talking is different. Usually it's mostly when I uh, put on stickers that I get silent because I really have to focus for those. But it um, seems that it's also when I can't really locate the bricks easily. Brick Bakery. No, he threw it across the room. Whoa, uh, it was a metal tractor. Oh my. Ooh, my. That, uh, that, that sounds... Wow. Uh, I'm glad that's long ago. So it didn't happen recently. Wow. Um... Ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. Stuff is falling on the floor. I need to get that before it disappears from... Uh, there we go. It was part of the roof. Oops. So yeah, we are very soonish coming up on one hour and that means I will be ending the live stream today. Uh, at the one hour mark, uh, give or take a few minutes. I like keeping the live streams at around that time. It, I'm not too tired once we're done and I so, sort of can keep uh, keep things going uh, when I uh, when I keep it at that. So I hope I hope you will be satisfied with that. But usually when I'm near the end of my live stream, I try to uh, talk just a tiny bit about what's coming up on the channel. I've already talked a bit about uh, what's coming up on the uh, website, which is of course something you can go follow if you want to. But um, on the channel, there's also gonna be stuff for you to watch. Watch. Oh, I see Michael Afol has said something. I have transitioned over to a Facebook page and it's working well so far. One advantage is I don't have to do everything as a video. I can take more multi a more multimedia approach. Yes, I agree. Which is one of my reasons for also trying to change a uh, transition to another uh, media. So uh, what is coming up on the channel video wise in the coming week? Well, on Monday, that's uh, in a couple of days, there will be a, another Christmas related mock, which I hope you'll enjoy. And on uh, Thursday, there'll be another interview with something that's actually Christmas related. Um, I was very lucky to get an interview with someone who actually made a, a Christmas related mock on the SFW. So I've really been looking forward to putting that out there this uh, week. And um, then of course, I hope there will be a live stream, a more, a more regular live stream on next Friday as well. So that's the program for this week, a mock on Monday, an interview on Thursday, and of course, your I'll be back live streaming for you on um, Friday. And this is cool, I like this. The car has front lights, and they turn on and off when you take the minifigure out or put him in. The lights actually come on or off. That's a neat thing, that's a neat detail, I like that. 
I really like that. I think that's a great idea. Well thought. Well thought, my friends. Uh, not going to be able to join you next week. Have fun. Thank you, Cass. I, it's a little, uh, well, a, little sad, a little sad that you can't come, but um, I hope you'll be here uh, the week after. After the elections has been uh, done in England, I believe that's probably what's going to take your time. Um, Woodshop Teacher is talking a bit about his videos that's coming out next week. He does some throwback videos, which is quite interesting. Uh, do, 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 do. Boom. And the car is now in the garage. That's pretty neat. It's it's a it's a snug fit. I say that, but um, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So with that, we are coming up on the next page here, forty-two. So I think I'll stop the live stream here uh, because it's a fitting point, both time-wise and for where we've gotten to in the build. It's been uh, great. Uh, seeing you all here this wonderful evening. Thank you very much for showing up. It's always cozy to have you with me and um, I'm always happy to make a live stream. It's um, it's always a pleasure. I am sorry for the sort of uh, little sabotaged uh, camera thing here, but uh, apparently my PC decided that it wanted to update to uh, Windows 10. And while we have been talking, the Computer has been updating now for almost two hours, at least an hour and a half, and it's only at 27% in the update. So this is going to take all night, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that is all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like, and subscribe, and please check out my website. That's www.brickbakery.fun for the full brick bakery experience. Take care everybody, sleep tight and have a wonderful weekend.